Have you ever thought about what happens to your pet when they reach the end of their life? It's an uncomfortable question, yet a necessary one. Today we delve into the topic of pet end-of-life planning, a crucial aspect of pet ownership that's often overlooked. We love our furry companions to the moon and back, and their inevitable departure is a tough reality to face. But planning for this eventuality can provide a roadmap during a time filled with emotional turbulence and practical challenges. When our pets near the end of their journey, we grapple with hard decisions. Veterinary care choices, comfort measures and memorial options are just a few of the considerations to navigate. It's a daunting task, made more difficult by the emotional weight it carries. But with a well-thought-out plan, we can approach these challenges with a clear mind, ensuring our beloved pets receive the love, care and respect they deserve in their final moments. Planning for your pet's end of life can help you navigate this difficult time with grace and peace. Now, we delve into the 12 essential steps for a comprehensive pet end of life plan. This is about ensuring your beloved pet's final days are as comfortable and dignified as possible. The first step is veterinary care. Regular vet visits become even more crucial as your pet ages. It's not just about managing physical health but also about monitoring their quality of life. Next is pain management. As our pets age, they may experience discomfort or pain. It's essential to have a plan in place to manage this, whether it's medication, physical therapy, or other treatments. Third, consider dietary changes. Older pets often have different nutritional needs, and adjusting their diet can help manage health conditions and improve their well-being. The fourth step is hydration. Ensuring your pet has constant access to fresh water is vital, especially if they're on medication or have kidney issues. Fifthly, there's grooming. Regular grooming is not just about keeping your pet looking good, but also about their comfort and health. Step six is about mobility assistance. As pets age, they may need help getting around, whether it's a ramp for the stairs or a harness to help with walks. The seventh step is about environmental modifications. This could mean making your home more accessible or comfortable for your pet. Next, consider your pet's mental stimulation. Even in their twilight years, Pets need engagement and fun. This might mean adapting their play to their physical abilities. Ninth, there's the need for extra comfort measures. This could be anything from extra blankets to heated beds or simply more cuddle time. The tenth step is about planning for the end. This might involve deciding between euthanasia at home or at the vet and discussing this with your vet in advance. The eleventh step is about memorializing your pet. This could be a special place in your garden, a photo album, or even a tattoo. Finally, step 12 is about self-care. Losing a pet is hard, and it's important to allow yourself time to grieve and remember your pet. These 12 steps, though hard to think about, ensure your pet's end of life is as comfortable and dignified as possible. In addition to the 12 essentials, there are five optional steps that can further enhance your pet's end of life experience. One such step is considering hospice care, which can provide your beloved companion with a comfortable and serene environment during their final days. Or, why not create a legacy project? This could be a photo album, a paw print keepsake, or even a memorial garden. These optional steps, while not necessary, can provide additional comfort and create lasting memories. End-of-life planning for your pet is a deeply personal and emotional process. It's about ensuring a dignified and comfortable journey for them, while easing your own emotional burden. Remember, the 12 essential steps and 5 optional ones we've discussed are not just actions, they're demonstrations of love and respect for your faithful companion. We encourage you to share your own end-of-life plans for your pets in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more pet care tips. Remember, your pet relies on you to make their twilight years as comfortable as possible.